Hi everyone, my name's Mad Matt Lugos and welcome to Prey. So, if you've never watched one of my playthroughs before, I like to play single player story focused games where we can take our time, explore and focus on the, the story, the characters, the narrative and all of that good stuff. So, if I sound like someone you want to maybe come along on the journey with, then I hope you join me for Prey. So, we're going to be carrying on with our kind of sci-fi, cyberpunk theme of games uh, or genre theme that we've been sticking to over the past few months. Um, rather than playing Cyberpunk 2077, we're playing a bunch of other games in the genre. And uh, then we're going to be continuing that with Prey. So as I understand it, Prey is, is set in like, it's like a near future sci-fi setting where we're going to be dealing with a bunch of shape-shifting aliens, as I understand it. And we're maybe going to be on a space station. We're going to be playing as a character called Morgan Yu, I think. And this game, I believe, is, is more of like an immersive sim. Uh, the story is supposed to be good, but the best part, as I understand it, is, is more the gameplay and how we can we can solve objectives and get to where we need to and, and do all that the way we want. There'll be multiple ways of dealing with it depending on my playstyle. So it's more of an immersive sim. Uh, that's really all I know about the game. Um, the only thing I maybe want to know from you guys is uh, about the DLC because, you know, there's only so much I can research without tempting fate with spoilers so i don't know if the dlc is story focused or it's multiplayer focused it sounds like it's multiplayer focused from what i from what i've read from what i've just tried to read without because you know if i type the word story into a search i'm going to get spoiled so just let me know is the dlc worth playing or am i just best sticking to the main game and the dlc is more of a in my own time multiplayer thing so um yeah that's pretty much all i know we're going to get started with a new game. Um, now, I am going to be playing on hard, and I'm going to turn the survival mode options all on. Um, from a quick search, from a like as like a recommended first time playthrough, this was, you know, I, I don't play sub immersive sims a lot really, but this is just this was the recommended settings really from what I had a quick search on. It just it makes the game a bit more immersive. You have to pay attention a bit more. Uh, I'm not gonna go completely mad and go on nightmare. Sorry, I thought my controller disconnected then. Um, and just as, <laughs> as I just mentioned, um, trigger warning. I, I am playing on PC. You know we've got all the settings cranked up and everything, but I, I am playing with a controller. Some people hate that, I understand that, but this is my preference. I don't like playing active gameplay with a mouse and keyboard, even though I'm playing on PC. That's my preference. People get really annoying about this. It's just my preference, all right? Um, so we're gonna be playing with a controller. I might use a mouse, the mouse in the menus, but some people just get real passive aggressive about you playing with a controller with first person games. It's just what I prefer. I grew up playing on consoles. I, I don't. I'm going to be looking down at the keyboard for bu for button presses if I use the mouse and keyboard, even if it is more accurate. So that might make it even harder playing on hard. But yeah. So the survival mode options. So weapon degradation. The weapons will wear down from use and environmental hazards. If not repaired, they will jam periodically. The traumas, whatever these are, adds new trauma statuses to the game, such as bone fracture, concussion hemorrhage and third degree burns and oxygen suit damage causes air to leak from your suit limiting your air supply in environments with no atmosphere such as the station exterior so we are going to be in space i didn't i wasn't entirely sure about that um so yeah they, they can't be changed afterwards this is uh no this is how we are going to set up let's go and um, now as i understand it it doesn't make much difference which uh which, uh, which gender you pick. I don't think there's much narrative choice in this. And I think we have, I think it's a silent protagonist in terms of interacting with characters. So I'm just going to pick the female character, not for any particular reason. And um, I do tend to pick female protagonists if I have the choice for some reason. I don't know why, but we're going with female. Okay, we are now entering our apartment. So you wake up in your apartment in the year 2032. So it's very near future, right? For this was made in 2016 2017 so it's only you know what 15 years after that after they've made it so i don't know how overly futuristic it's going to be 
Maybe Good just... Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. All right, so um, this is the only bit of the game I've seen because uh, I just had to see what the uh, performance was like. Hello there. Hey, Morgan, wake up. You're burning daylight. You sent the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. A few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen. Uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're going to shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Okay. So, Alex, you, that's presumably our brother, because it's the same last name. Um, yeah, put on our trans star uniform. Um, I, I always forget my notepad. But um, I do like to take notes because I can be a little bit forgetful sometimes. And it's just, I think it's just, if, if things are going to be a bit complicated... I might need it. We might not need it because I think this game is quite has a lot of checkpoint UI stuff. I don't think we're going to need to be too um, kind of anal about taking notes. But um, yeah, so this is the only bit of the game I've seen. I just had to check frame rates and such. So uh, there's quite a lot of stuff to read in here. And a few objects made some curious noises. <laughs> what it was this thing. Uh, so, um, hold, hold X to pick up multiple items. So this thing, I seem to remember, makes weird noises. And what are these marks on the floor? Did you hear that? See? Now, I don't know what these... So is there maybe something behind this wall? This wall is mighty suspicious at this point, right? Oh, it's the closet. Okay. Okay, so we're going to have a little look around here just to try and get a little feel for the world. So, um, so we hold Y. Or press it once. Hold, uh, press it once to look in there. Hold it to get to... Is that like a weapon wheel? Okay. Good to know. Um, a is jump. The method dot science excerpt from Architects of the Neurological Revolution. I'm going to read all this stuff. Um, I like to try and flesh things out as much as possible. There's quite a lot of books in this apartment. What if I told you I could turn into a mathematician on the level of Einstein in under 10 minutes? I'd say you're full of it. That's the first thought that crosses my mind, but it withers in the face of Alex Yu's conviction. Despite myself, I'm riveted. He's not bullshitting me himself. Maybe me. No. Alex leans back in his chair. Welcome to the age of the Neuromod. Okay, so Neuromods, Neuro-augmentations, um, Kings and Way Sparkling Wine. Oh, might as well pinch it, I'm not going to drink it now. Uh, congrats, Morgan, Alex. So we've got a job opportunity, it seems, then, at Trans Star. Um, you can climb on objects... What have we got? Encyclopedia of Food Science and Cooking. Excerpt from an entry in the Encyclopedia of Food Science and Cooking. 2033 edition by Elliot Shaw. Transglutaminase. TG or TJAs. Or TGAs. A naturally occurring enzyme found in plants, animals and bacteria. TG is often used to bond protein containing foods together and in the production of foods such as imitation crab meat and fish balls. Known colloquial colloquially by chefs is meat glue. Chef's, Chef Shaw's tip. Gluing skin chicken to salmon will actually protect the outside of the salmon from overcooking. Yeah, it's a pretty strong concept, isn't it, in, in, in a lot of cyberpunk stuff, is the is artificial food produce, right? I remember, I don't know if any of you have ever played Xeno Gears, but there's a huge revelation in, in that, centred around that pre premise. Uh, Heart of the Walk... <laughs> Okay, some cooking books. That's what we're reading. Cooking with a well-seasoned what can be a sublime, almost spiritual experience. The many layers of the blackened surface are like stored memories of all the meals 
that have gone in and out of carbon steel bowl before, now importing echoes of their rich flavour to every new meal it is tasked to cook. I don't know why people insist on... I remember there was a guy I used to work with who would never wash his, the mug he drink tea out of because he said it added to the flavour, and that just sounds disgusting to me. But, um, okay, so we've got a refrigerator. Um, let's just take all of it. I don't know if food is what we use to heal or something. Um, our handbag. Can't read any of the post. Uh, we've got a computer over here. Burnt circuit boards. Why not? So these skid, these uh, you know, marks on the ground are a bit suspicious. Uh, I don't know why they're there. Let's have a little look in the old closet. Uh, Neuromod application instructions. Okay, warning. Neuromods should only be administered by certified Transstar technicians under control conditions. Subject may experience slight discomfort, swelling, or redness of the eye shortly afterwards. Step 1. Remove Neuromod from vacuum seal container. Step 2. Press rubberized eye cup firmly against bony orbit of eye socket. 3. Keep eye open. 4. Depress orange release trigger and continue to hold Neuromod against eye for 5 minutes. 5. Dispose of used Neuromod improvised in provided biohazard bag. Okay. So, I mean, how often would you need to change these things? Ah. Okay. Some old shoes. Oops. <laughs> what else have we got? Some traveling pictures. Kennedy Space, Kennedy Space Center, Great Wall of China. Greetings from Austin, Texas. We've travelled around a little bit. Uh, it doesn't look like there's much else in here. So these marks on the floor are going to, into nothing. Very odd. Okay, so these are maybe these may be crafting crafting um, ingredients. Hands-on electronics. Excerpt from the preface to Hands-on Electronics by Antoinette Sokol. Sokol. By working through a series of practical experiments, this humble manual will introduce you to the fundamentals of modern analog and digital electronics. By the end, you will be able to construct any simple circuit, as Thomas Edison once said, to invent, you need a good imagination and a pile of junk. So, okay, that's a hint then. We're going to be crafting a lot then. Um, chair, you can get out of the way. Um, Morgan, you... Oh, there's our password. Do we need to... I'm going to write this down, just because, why not? Uh, password is F paradox with a zero. Question mark. Don't know if the quotation marks <laughs> are included. Trans star employee workstations often contain useful information, files, and utilities. View more. Oh, okay. So we've got lots of stuff we can read. Books that we've read will get stored in here. Or notes, as they're called here. Um, a bottle of sparkling wine shipped to Talos 1 from Earthside. Oh. So, Talos 1. Restores health by one, cures fear. Okay. Okay, so it's alcohol, so that cure fear. Uh, pomegranate restores five health. So, food restores health. Alcohol might get rid of fear. Useless. Material yield. So maybe we need to break this down at some point. Objectives. So Alex convinced me I'm going to join him aboard the Talos 1 space station. The work we're doing up there is too good to pass up. Plus, he says he's got a surprise. I have to jump through some hoops at the training center before I board the shuttle. All right. Uh, nothing else in here. Uh, that's the normal. Oh, many Transstar employees have private workstations. Locked stations require a password. Search the environment for clues or use the hacking ability to bypass the login. Workstations may contain email, files to download, or special utilities. You may review tutorial messages later in the pause menu. Got you. All right, let's have a read of our emails. Congrats and welcome. Hello, Morgan. So glad to hear you'll be coming 
Uh, from Thomas Tucker, sorry, to Morgan Yu. And our brother was CC'd in. So glad to hear you'll be coming aboard soon. Your first official work day is Monday, March 15th, but, we'll, but we first have a series of training exercises we run with all new employees. Just some stuff to clear you for life, to clear you for life in orbit. Exciting times ahead. Have a good flight and I'll see you soon. Thomas Tucker, Human Resources, Talus One Research Facility. Thomas Tucker. I'm going to write down character names just because I'm going to forget names. It's just nice to have a little log, you know? You know? Uh, delivery. I keep pressing A, sorry. From Alex Yu. Hey, I sent a package with everything you'll need for your first day. Uniform, transcribe, and a Neuromod. Install the Neuromod right away as we'll be running some tests first thing in the morning. Just follow the instructions, I'll be in touch. Did we get a Neuromod? Uh, from Alex again. Hey, I just got off the phone with mum and dad. They won't be there when the shuttles are parts. They're in New York. Company stuff, but they send their best. I think mum's a little disturbed that both her children are going to be outside her gravitational pull at the same time. She said you'd better behave and do everything your big brother says. Okay, actually, she said the opposite. I'm supposed to behave and do what you tell me. So there you go, that's mum. Anyway, everyone's excited about your ideas up there, so get ready. I'll prob probably call you in the morning to make sure you're up. See you very, very soon, Morgan, Alex. So maybe our brother's a uh, bit of a, a big wig, a genius. That's everything on the uh, on the old computer. Can we log out? Okay. Uh, let's have another. Uh, let's have a little. I don't know if this Neuromod is is around here anywhere, or whether it's in our inventory. Inventory. No, doesn't look like it. There's a bookshelf over here, I think. Yeah. Okay. Principles of neuroscience. Excellent. I have a degree in psychology, so I always like reading snippets like this. The brain was once considered too warm, wet, and noisy for seemingly delicate quantum processes. However, the discovery of quantum coherence in biological processes such as plant photosynthesis, avian navigation, and our own sense of smell paved the way for the eventual discovery of quantum vibrations inside the microtubules of neurons. Neuroscience is difficult, man. It is difficult. Okay, we're brooking up the place. Um, engineering control systems. There's a metaphor here, you know. Um, typically, the objective of control theory is to monitor the out output of a system and compare it with the desired output, the reference signal. The difference between the actual and the desired outputs, the error signal, is applied as feedback to the input of the system. To bring the actual output closer to the reference, good control systems and good engineers learn from the past. So... I know this all seems quite peripheral, but because this is an immersive sim, I'm guessing all this stuff will tie in with the gameplay. So that it, kind of talking about quantum physics and, and the brain might mean there's going to be some kind of weird psychological abilities we might get. The engineering stuff about breaking stuff down to its composite parts. You know, all this stuff will probably be involved in the gameplay in somewhat. Consciousness, the fire in the equations, and probably the story as well. Excerpt from chapter one, Consciousness, the fire in the equations by Dr. Stuart Penrose. The nature of consci consciousness remains deeply mysterious. I don't like this guy. Um, how can the subjective nature of experience, my inner life, be explained in scientific terms? Does consciousness emerge from complex computations among brain neurons, or is it a fundamental and irreducible property woven into the fabric of the universe? Man, this is what I really hated at university was people who would try and mystify uh, consciousness and just the study of it. Like you'd always get some, like, I don't want to say hippie because that's how I don't, I don't mean it in a derogatory way, but somebody wants to mystify when, when, you know, when you're trying to debate about the 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 objective facts about consciousness or the possible objective facts about consciousness and then there's always someone who's like oh hey man it's it's all mysterious we don't really know and it's just like well we, we stop stop making it mysterious like you're the one making it mysterious okay introduction to survey of parapsychological meta-analysis for example conducting a meta-analysis of over 2000 guns 
Gansfold trials, wherein participants are subjected to mild sensory deprivation in order to test for telepathy, reveals a hit rate of 39%. These results are statistically significant, meaning that the success rate is above what could be explained by chance alone. There's no denying it, something spooky is going on. Okay, so telepathy is going to be maybe something that we can utilize in this game. Uh, Midnight Songs, a classic anthology of Tang, Di uh, Tang Din Dynasty verse. I never know how I, I can... I always forget whether what's the English and what's the American way of saying something. Dynasty, dynasty, dynasty. I think dynasty is the English way. Uh, on the start, on the stork tower. So uh, we've got Chinese heritage, it seems. And we've got another book. Uh, an account of Fermi's question. Okay, consider that there are billions of stars in the galaxy like our sun. Many of them far older. Some of these stars will have Earth-like planets. Some of these planets may have developed intelligent life. Some intelligent life may, may develop interstellar travel. If a civilization began before ours, it seems possible, even probable, that even at the speed of current envisioned interstellar travel, they could already have the entire galaxy colonized. The problem is we haven't detected any such civilization, nor have any contacted us. Why? That's interesting, because we're going to be dealing with some, right? Um... I don't think we could go on the balcony. Jammed. So, is this, um, is that the Golden Gate Bridge? Are we in, uh, is, is, why is the Golden Gate Bridge? Is it LA? I don't know. I've never been to America. I've, I've traveled around quite a bit, but I've never been to America or North, anywhere in North America. Nothing in the cabinet. Oh God, we can search everything. Nothing in the trash. In the rubbish. Some necklaces. I don't know if there's a zoom button. Oh, we've got a peak. Peak button is uh, the shoulder buttons. Okay, so we've got some jewellery. Uh, I don't think there's anything of interest. We can flush the toilet. Excellent. There's <laughs> uh, nothing behind the door. Alright, I think that's everything for our apartment or our flat. Let's get our good old uniform on. First day on the job. <laughs> um, I don't know which parts of the UI my head's going to be blocking, so I'll, I'll, I'll move it if it's better on the other side. I'm not sure. Oh, can we search the cabinets? Nothing. Sun-dried tomato jerky. Sure. Glu glucasis, is that what we just read about? Alright, that's everything, right? Nothing in the upper cabinets. Right. Out we go. Let's make sure we turn the lights off. Morning, Miss Yu. Hello? Patricia, what's that? Let's just break into our neighbor's house. Right. You alright, Patricia? Heard there's a chopper on the roof. Must be for you. Certainly is. You'll have to take the elevator. I shall. Down the hall. But you know that, I guess. Yes. Aren't you going to be late? I'm supposed to talk to you. You're supposed to keep going. I'm supposed to keep going? You're going to get me in trouble. With who? I can't talk to you anymore. Huh. <laughs> that was suspicious. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Use A to jump, left L3 to sprint, B to crouch or slide while sprinting. Okay, man, I hope there's not too much stealth. We've got our stamina bar. Let's hit the roof. All right. Yeah, she was acting weird. I was just trying to talk to her and she was... I don't know, maybe she just didn't want to get sacked for talking to someone while she was supposed to be working. I don't know. The chopper. So I don't know if I've missed the neuromod we were supposed to put in, but... Let's go.
Ms. Yu, please make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. No worries. Transtar facility is just a short hop. 78 degrees. Clear skies all the way. Uh, get your seat that on, Morgan. God. I don't know where we are then. Arcane Studios. I'm guessing that this is West Coast America, right? The Bay Area? That's California, right? Could be wrong. I'm liking the music. on the way out good luck to you thank you pilot i am a silent protagonist so i can't really say anything to you all right don't jump into the chopper blades transstar hello hello dr hello We've got a science operator i'm a civil 495 science class operator Okay. Our research often requires intense focus and long hours. I can provide you with a psychoactive stimulant after the test, if necessary. Everyone's eager to see what you're capable of, Dr. Hugh. I know I am. Okay. Is this someone talking through this, or is this an AI? It won't be long before you're on a shuttle bound for Talos 1. Transtar has over a dozen state-of-the-art facilities across the globe. More if you count the entire Earth-Moon system. My instruments are calibrated for high-volume data analysis and live readings. Don't worry, nothing will be missed. The elevator will take you directly to the testing area. Okay. I'm sure your brother is waiting for you. Well, I want to talk to All you. All labs meet the minimum. Strange. That's never happened before. I'll have to file a maintenance request. Please excuse me, Dr. Yu. Why is everyone... So change position? Um, if you want. Why does everyone get weird when I try and talk to them? Uh, it's just funny in things you notice about someone's voice, because, like, this voice actor is doing, like, a southern English voice here. Accent. But it's obviously someone northern putting on the accent, just because of the way she said our. It'd be more like our in the southern accent, but she said our. That one word just made it stick out. We've got more weird tracks on the ground. What the hell would cause this? Things malfunctioning. Welcome, Morgan Yu. Hello. You have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. Um, I confirm. So things are suspicious. There's marks on the ground. People don't like it when we try and talk to them for too long. <laughs> Even the robots have got social anxiety. Morgan. Hello. Finally. Now, this... Our brother's voice. I can't remember the actor's name. He's been in quite a, quite a lot of stuff. He's in, uh, he's, he's in Doctor Strange, isn't he? Hey there, mate. Hey. You don't look terrible in a Transtar uniform. How's your eye? Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but... It's a you family tradition. You Breaking family convention tradition is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's gonna walk you through the process. You're in good hands. Okay. We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. So to he's like Mr. Just... You, they're ready for your sister in room A. Right. To see that on the company. Just be yourself. I'll see you after. Yes. So does he like own the company then? 
I wish I could show you what I've been working on. Dr. Yu. Yes? You better get in there before Bellamy gets impatient. <laughs> Can we go in here? Something glowing over there. Or is that a health kit? <clears throat> Hello, Dimitri. Can I talk to you? No? Okay, we need to go for some tests, apparently. The method side. Okay, this is the same thing again about Alex. Testing rooms. This seems awfully direct, but okay. These skid, these little like markings, these like skid marks on the floor, man. Hello there. Come for a test. Good morning, Morgan. Sylvan I'm Bellamy. Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. What Don't boxes? Go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. Okay, so we're being filmed. A little weird camera there. Okay. Oh, that's not very good. That's. Hmm? Uh, you're absolutely fine. Oh, did uh, I hit the, let's hit move the window? On to room B, then. Surely you'd know that. Huh. So, what do, are they testing our reflexes and stuff? What do you need me to do? Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. Hide. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time, relax, think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. Where the hell could we hide? It's an open room. Do we need to hide from them or hide from the camera? Whenever you're ready, Morgan. Yeah, that seems like hide. Is she? She's hiding behind the chair. Hmm. Uh, any synaptic register at all? No? No, that's fine. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. You're doing marvelous. I was tempted to just stand under the camera, but... Weird. Okay. My behind the chair. All right. Here we go. For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible, without thinking. Just just go for it. How else would I press, press it? Press the red button when you're ready. I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? Simmons? What? I installed exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? Speaker's still on. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. I don't... I'm a bit weirded out. <laughs> People. Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. There's one right there, Thank dude. Thank you. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. Yes. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Press start on the screen when you're ready. Okay. You're planning a vacation. Go somewhere familiar you know you oh. love or try... What the hell? <laughs> try something new. 
Um. Hmm. Um. I mean, you do both, right? Sometimes you'd what you want something familiar. Sometimes you want something new. Let's try and be interesting. Let's say new. <laughs> Good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. Keep going. <laughs> okay, you've been sentenced to death for your actions. What actions? How does this make you feel? Uh, guess this depends what part of the world you come from, right? Um, death penalty got abolished in in the UK in 1980-something, right? So I'd say that I'd be angry, regardless of what you'd done, even if it was something heinous. I know certain crimes some people believe deserve death. But, um, I wouldn't. I don't know. I mean, you'd be afraid of death, but I don't know what will happen. I mean, once you're dead, you're dead, right? I don't believe in the afterlife, so I don't know what it's in reference to. So I just say I'd be angry because I don't believe. I don't believe the death penalty is uh, a moral thing to do. So. That's heavy stuff. Okay, a run a runaway train <laughs> is bearing down on five people who are tied to the track. You can cause the train to switch tracks, but there is one person tied to the second track. I mean both are rubbish, right? Um the classic argument. Is one life worth the life of several? Why would there be any... Why? These are weird questions. I guess you'd switch, right? Neither of them good. are good. Next. A runaway train is bearing down on five people. You're standing on the platform next to an enormously fat man. Pushing him into the track would stop the train. Seems a bit harsh, right? No, you can't do that to the guy. I mean, you just jump on yourself, right? Unless you'd need to be fat enough to stop the train. <laughs> No one would be that fat, right? <laughs> to stop a train single-handedly. No. I'm not pushing him on Almost the tracks. Done. A runaway train is bearing down on five people tied to the track. You could stop the train by jumping onto the track, but you would die. Push the fat man. <laughs> no, the fat man. I've, I've given him a pass already. Um, uh, would there be any guarantee that... It would stop the train. I don't know. Honestly, honestly, I don't think I would. Um, seems like if you if you boil the logic, if you, if you look at like saving lives as like some logical mathematical equation, then you'd probably jump on the tracks. I don't know. I don't think you would. Ah, I think your sense of self, unless they were people you knew, I think your sense of self-preservation would, would kick in, right? Interesting. Yes. Horribly selfish. Well done. Well done. We're nearly through it. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. Dude, in dude. In a moment, I'm going to ask you what... Uh, where's my coffee? How the hell did you not Thank see you. that? It's a Rorschach test. <laughs> Okay. Um, okay, now we're being gassed. Oh no. Alex. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? She's alive, sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Wow. 
What is going on? Alex? So what are we? Is this deja, deja vu? So we're back at the start of the loop. Were these screens here last time? Six emails. Okay. Okay. From January. Okay, we've got someone called January. Leave now. What does EOM mean? Yeah, that's bad. Okay, what is there anything else that's different then? I mean, the only weird thing that Alex said to us was about our eye being red. I don't know why our eye would be red if that's our first time going there. Is there anything different here? Okay, everything's in a different place. Or some stuff. Look, that's in a different place now. Let's take everything that we took last time. Yeah, okay, some stuff's different. So it turned into one of the mugs on the table, didn't it? The thing, the shapeshifter. Yeah, let's get our suit on again, I guess. So is this the same day, or have we been sent back? I can't remember what day it said. Hold on. The courier. Is that us? It's got a very slapped, slapped ass face, does Alex. Okay, great. Okay, something is deeply wrong. Patricia. Okay, now the room is a dead end. I've got a wrench. Swing Hello, wrench. Marcus. It's time we spoke. My code name is January. Yes. You're not dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. If you want to know what's going on, first, you need to get out of your apartment building. You're not safe. So that uses stamina. What the hell is wrong with your face, Patricia? Okay, Patricia, something has happened to Patricia. There is weapon degradation, right? Um. Okay, so we need to go back in our apartment then. Um. Can we open the door? That button prompt is gone now. Oh, there's something behind here, right? Balcony? Huh? 
It was an illusion. Smashy, smashy. It's a quote, Bart Simpson. So I don't know if there's a. Uh... Uh, where the weapon degradation thing is, but so we've got uh, an armor meter. A Good. Uh... You're in the simulation lab. Now get to the exit. I'll keep in contact. Okay, get to the main lobby. Okay, now I'm bricking it. Activity log. So we're being watched. We were being watched. It's 2035, not 2032. Wakes up, turns off alarm, checks transcribe on computer, various tasks, takes shower, puts on uniform, exits apartment. So the actual date is uh, was February 2035. Simulation debriefing, observation, storage. I don't know how open this game is, you know? I don't know if it's a really open world. It's underneath some stairs here. Sound stage rules. Absolute silence when simulation is in progress. Don't enter stage unless in costume. Don't interact with subject off script. So that's why Patricia was being so weird with us. Always reset position of props, etc. More sparkling champagne. Simulation labs, replacement props, storage area. More sparkling wine, so we've been reliving the same day. Perhaps. Sounds like something walking. Fuck me. Just gonna close that then. Ah! What are you? Ah! Die! Die! Ah! Where is it? Ah! 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 Well. A mimic tumor random <laughs> clump of matter formed as a byproduct of mimic transformation. We can't take that. Um What did we just pick up? A typhon. That's what these things are. The aliens are called or the shapeshifters are called typhons. Typhon organs contain exotic material which is used to fabricate neuromods. So that's perhaps the dark secret behind um What have I pressed? Oh, scope. Oh, we can zoom in. Okay, I like that. Um we need to heal. No, not that one. Uh, have we got food? Got some green tea, alright. Five. As in it's just, it does it slowly over time as well. Sorry for your ears for screaming. I, was, I really wasn't expecting an enemy when we've just got a melee weapon. Let's take all the sparkling wine possible. <laughs> yeah, that took off a lot of health, man. Let's uh, shut doors behind us. There's another one, I can hear it. 
So I don't I didn't see what it changed from. I don't know if we've got a carry weight limit, perhaps we do. The wrench. The Hephaestus heavy heavy twist and loop handle wrench is standard issue for all maintenance personnel employed in Transtar facilities. Good for liberal application of percussive maintenance and mechanical agitation. Use right trigger to swing your wrench. Important plea, press and hold right trigger to charge your attack for maximum damage. All wrench attacks will drain your stamina. Okay. That's a simulation of the city we were flying out of, right? Okay, I don't think there's anything else in the simulation area. Wait. Oh, there's another thing over there. Crap. I'm going to wrench you good, buddy. He's not even trying to hide. So we'll be hi Noises, I don't appreciate this. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, a note. Delivery for debrief. Manufacturing order delivered to Marco Simmons from the fab fabrication department. Marking this entire SKU is defective. Investigate with fabrication, Marco. Marco Simmons. Let's write that down. I don't know who he is. He might be important. Marco Simmons. So what is this? Maybe wipes our memory? Right, we've got a computer, the safe code. Can't make it out. Non-local, super luminal. Yeah, so we're obviously having our memory wipe then. Hey, hey, hey. Leave me alone, camera. Password. L. Is that an I or an L? I cop zero eight seven six. Marco Simmons password has been acquired. I don't need to write it down. Damn it. Okay. Reminder. Uh, about company. Password policy. This is just a friendly reminder from the relevant portion of the policy handbook. Password protection, don't share your password. Passwords are sensitive, confidential information. Passwords must be inserted into email messages, transcribe conversations and other forms of communication. Don't write down your passwords or store them anywhere in your office. If you suspect your passwords have been compromised, blah, blah, blah. Got you. Note about this morning, all. I know this morning's incident has left people shaken. To prevent unnecessary panic, please refrain from contacting people outside of your department. A station-wide announcement will be made shortly. In the meantime, Miss Al Alazar and her security team are on high alert with fe and will field any requests you have. I know some of you are worried about Dr. Bellamy. He's currently being treated in the trauma center and is in critical but stable condition. Thank you for your patience and dedication to this project, Alex Yu. Okay, so... Maybe we were being experimented on by the, the, the humans here and it's not to do with the aliens and the aliens have broken out somehow out of captivity and that's what happened to Dr. Bellamy. A bad install. Simmons, the test results today were all negative. Did you install the correct neuromods? Touch base with Graves and figure out what went wrong. This should be your absolute highest priority. Okay. We need to find a way out of here. This first episode, obviously at this point, is a bit longer. I'll try and keep the episodes between 40 minutes to an hour. Uh, but we'll go a bit over for the first episode. Uh, I'd like to just progress the story a touch. 
exit. Okay, we could go to the roof. Oh, this is the roof. So I wonder why they're simulating the same day over and over for us. Okay. Man, I don't need any more. Okay, this is a bit overwhelming. Oh, so it changed. Right. Dude, that is so loud. The okay, health kit did about 25, right? Reset the scene at least. An error has occurred. So something bad has happened. Let's read the email here. Okay, same thing about Dr. Bellamy. Utilities. Scene selection. Authorization scene transition times include when subject Miss um, Morgan Yu is inside the elevator during maintenance operations between test runs. Report any technical issues to immediately to Dr. Sylvan Bellamy. Reset the test rooms to current configuration. Test rooms affected ABC. Reset. Okay. Uh, probably a good idea to have an exit available. Was that there before? Am I going mad? Was that thing there before? That um, toolbox thing? Right, there's, there's something around this corner. We saw it. It's just a question of what it's changed into, right? They're going to change into... Oh, it's there. Hey there, friend! Typhon Cacoplasmus. Everyone calls them mimics. Be careful what you pick up. So it changed into that chair. Uh-oh. Come get some. Right here. Okay, two full swings will get them. Which is good. To oh, our, our uh, torch has got a battery life. I didn't notice that. Stupid chair. Right. I don't know if stepping on glass hurts us with these um, settings that we've got. Let's take whatever scrap we can find. Two mugs next to each other. How suspicious. <laughs> um, okay. More emails. Here's the mug that killed. What's his name? Okay, it's not a mimic anymore. I won't uh, smash everything in paranoid fashion. I might do. Okay, that's the same one about this morning. Morgan's behavior. Alex has requested all orders to go through him after Morgan's outburst at the debrief. Pending a psych evaluation, Alex indicated he doesn't want any more surprises from Morgan. Nor do we, granted. Morgan has forgotten everything from the last test as expected, but the aggressive response to the same set of testing criteria was clearly a departure. My recommendation is we need to start charting personality drift before future tests, in debriefings and within the test itself, Bellamy. Okay, so maybe we'd to Xiaolong Heng. 
I'll take the paper. Why not? Um, there was a safe, actually, wasn't there? Back in that other room. Oh, ready. There was a safe that we needed a code for. What the hell's that? Um, sorry, let me just double check. In the evaluation room. A debriefing safe. What the hell would be the code then? Is there any way to make that out? I don't think so. Never mind. All right. We're gonna have to be paranoid about everything we run into now, right? Right, we used up our health kit, so... Transcribe. Alex. Marco Simmons. Simmons? What's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? She's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Hmm. So, uh, I don't know what the code is for that, um... For that safe, I imagine we might have to backtrack. I don't know how open the game is. I imagine it's quite open. Right, um, I need to check what the quick save button is, but I'll do that in a bit. Use it to lobby, skill recorder, control room. I'm going to have to develop a knowledge of the layout here, right? Exit to lobby, decontamination, the skill recorder, stage B control room. So I guess we need to head there. I don't know if some, if they're not going to ch transform if we get close to them unless we smash them or something. Then they might sneak up behind us, right? What is this? I don't know if there'll be like a, some sort of visual twitch or a glitch that'll give them away. Um, this looks locked anyway. Oh, Jesus, that scared me. Right, let's um, let's head to the control room first. I saw that. What do you take me for? Is there anything we can throw at it? Let's throw something at the thing. I don't know, he might follow us though. Oh, a surprise attack. Oh, that kills them straight away. Let's take the organs, why not? Seems logical, right? <laughs> Hopefully there's not a carry weight. I mean, it looks like there's a limit. Suit modification skill increases inventory size, damn it. I guess it's an immersive sim, right? Oh god, you've been drained as well. Gret Greta Mickelson. I will steal your apple, Greta. Should have just eaten it. All right, chair. I can hear something. Crap, where did it go? Did I get him? Ow. I got him, right? All right, we need to uh, heal. Give me that apple. Okay, so we can smash windows quite a lot. I don't know if the, the glass hurts or anything. Uh, 
Uh, simulation scene. Looking glass on. Oh. Yeah, let's turn that off. Echelon roof or the trans star roof. Don't think that matters. Is there nothing in here then? What if we carry you? Maybe we need some better strength to carry this heavy stuff to throw at things. So this is the control room, right? Uh, but there's nothing we can interact with it, I don't think. No, I guess we go through the other side. Try not to rush because we will get snuck up on. I think that's everything back here at least. Decontamination. Oh! You evil creature. Oh, it's, it's made him stronger. Oh, he's duplicated. No one has been able to stop the mimics from multiplying since they broke containment. I'm going to help you stay alive. Just a little further. Oh, dude, no. Okay, one of them is those towels. Jovan. Gravi Gravilovic. Baseball gloves, banana spare part. Alright, towels. Which one of you is evil? You are. None of you. <laughs> Psy Hypo. The quick select menu allows you to assign weapons and powers for easy access. Okay, yep. Assign weapons and powers to the quick select menu by highlighting the items in your inventory. Then press Y to bring up the assign menu. Assign from your favorite wheel by selecting, then using left, right, or down. Okay. Not quite sure how that works. Uh, auto sort it all? Yeah, sure. Just, uh, scope chipsets. Okay. Get to the main lobby. Let's, um, I think we need to use it, but let's just take it for now for when we're desperate. So, right trigger in the quick menu. There's nothing else we can assign, I don't think. Alright. They're in here somewhere. <laughs> Alright, guys. Uh, this episode's getting a bit too long, so um, I'm going to leave, leave it here. I know we haven't got very far, because I did a lot of book reading and shouting. <laughs> But uh, yeah, fascinating start. We're kind of trying to find our way through to this January character who's kind of leading us through. Everything's gone wrong. I think that the experiment on us has been being conducted by our brother for some reason. I don't know why. Seems a bit strange, right? Seems a bit sinister. Oh, hello. Is that a, a different way through, perhaps? Um, anyway, uh, let me know your thoughts. Let me Leave me any tips as this will likely get a lot harder. And yeah, we'll pick it up here next time. So I hope you enjoyed it. Just remember, everybody, never trust an on crate. I will see you back on the Talos one, right? I'll see you then.